citing information from the German newspaper website Welt, the result of this negotiation to provide Gepard 35mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun systems between the German defense minister Christine Lambrecht and her Ukrainian counterpart Alexei Reznikov was announced on Friday the 20th, 2022. This new military aid for Ukraine also includes training support from the German army, almost 60,000 rounds of ammunition, and the delivery of a further 15 Gepard anti-aircraft armored vehicles in summer 2022. After a struggle to deliver heavy weapons, the German defense company Krauss Mafei Wegmann, or KMW, received the political green light from the German government to sell the refurbished anti-aircraft tracked armored vehicles coming from German armored military stocks. According to a German source, the KMW would have 50 Gepards that could be delivered to Ukraine. According to the Army Recognition website, Germany has approved the delivery of the Gepard 35mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun system to Ukraine. German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht confirmed that Germany is ready to provide Gepard air defense armored vehicles during a meeting on April 26, 2022, held at the United States Ramstein Air Base in Germany. Wir haben gestern entschieden, dass wir die Ukraine unterstützen werden mit, einer Flug, mit einem Flugabwehrpanzer mit Geparden. Das ist genau das, was die Ukraine jetzt braucht. And with that, in this video, US Military News Channel will discuss the Gepard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Watch this video until the end and give your opinion. The Gepard, commonly known as the Cheetah, is a self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon developed by the German company Krauss Mafei Wegmann KMW between 1976 and 1980. The vehicle's development began in the 1960s and was deployed in the 1970s. The Gepard is a flak tank or an anti-aircraft gun. It is armed with twin 35mm guns. These guns can target enemy aircraft and helicopters at an altitude up to 3,500 meters. The Ukrainian forces can use these guns against Russian attack helicopters. Powered by two Orlikon Contravs 35mm KDA cannons with a cyclic rate of fire of 550 rounds per minute, the Gepard has an effective range of 1,500 meters. Externally, each side of the turret is equipped with a 35mm cannon. Anti-aircraft ammunition is fed through a series of fixed and immovable chutes, completely sealed from the fighting compartment. There are 310 rounds of anti-aircraft and 20 rounds of armor-piercing ammunition in each cannon stockpile. The Gepard has a maximum range of 5,500 meters with FAPDS ammo. Mounted on each side of the gun is a bank of four 76mm smoke grenade launchers. Gepard missiles were created by KMW using the surface-to-air Stinger missile system. It was attached to the 35mm twin gun on a single unit with a dual Stinger launcher. The Gepard mobile air defense system is based on the tracked armor chassis of the Leopard 1 MPT. The original turret is removed and replaced with a two-person anti-aircraft gun system. It has three crew, including a driver, commander, and gunner. The Gepard has an EADS-supplied digital fire control computer. The miniaturized digital computer uses 32-bit Motorola 68020 microprocessors, single-board computers with dedicated arithmetic coprocessors, and a command, control, and communications, or C3, interface. Fixed vehicle coordinate systems are used for all data processed by the fire control systems. The modernized scheme for the Gepard includes integration of C3 capabilities, improvement in target engagement with an extended combat range, shorter reaction time, kill probability, better hit, improved self-protection. The main thrust of this improvement program is the installment of new fire control systems, muzzle velocity measurement devices, command and control management, the certification for new frangible armor-piercing discarding Sabo ammunition, or FAPDS. Gepard is a transportable, heavily armored air defense system. The Dutch version is based on the same system technology as the Gepard system, 
except for the radar system configuration. For this reason, the upgraded program was managed as a bilateral project. Gepard has a total of eight smoke dischargers in its arsenal. The Gepard is equipped with search radar and tracking radars. The search radar was installed at the front of the turret, and the tracking radar at the rear. The radars provide 360-degree scanning, simultaneous target tracking, clutter suppression, search on the move capabilities, and monopulse tracking mode. The German Gepard's S-band search radar has a 15-kilometer range and sub-clutter visibility of 60 decibels. The German Gepard tracking radar operating in the Ku band ranges 15 kilometers, and the clutter suppression is 23 decibels. The auxiliary power unit that the Gepard utilizes is a Daimler-Benz OM314 diesel engine that is liquid-cooled, multi-fuel, and rated at 66 kilowatts. The power supply from the generator is 3 times 200 115 volts at 380 hertz, and it can deliver 2 times 20 kilovolt amps. After the first week of the Russian invasion, there was a shift in Germany's policy. Berlin allowed sending German arms to war zones. Since then, Germany provided seven self-propelled howitzers and around 2,000 artillery guns to Ukraine, reported DW. It also provided 500 Stinger portable anti-aircraft missiles to the war-torn country. More than 50 Ukrainian soldiers reportedly arrived in Germany to get howitzer training earlier this month. On February 24th, Russia started its military operation in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin described the invasion of Ukraine as denazification. This incident turned Ukrainian cities into rubble and forced more than 5 million people to flee abroad. We hope this war ends quickly, and we strongly oppose this war. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and we'll see you in the next video. Over the past week, Germany handed over four more Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun to Ukraine, according to the German government. According to a press release from the German Ministry of Defense, Germany has already delivered 12 Gerard vehicles and preparing to send 18 more. The armored, all-weather Gerard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun is designed to be adjusted to converge at the single point where enemy aircraft were expected to appear at low altitude in conduction of strafing runs directed at large infantry and field artillery units. The Jeopard was manufactured by Krauss Maffei Wegmann, based in München, Germany, and was delivered to the armed forces of Belgium, Germany and the Netherlands. The Jeopard is fitted with a two-man electric power-operated turret armed with twin 35mm guns. The barrel length is 90 calibers, 3,150 mm. The rate of fire provided by the two barrels is 1,100 rounds a minute. Each 35mm gun has 320 rounds of ready-to-fire, anti-air ammunition and 20 rounds of anti-ground target ammunition. The guns can fire a range of standardized 35mm ammunition, including the new frangible armor-piercing discarding sabo rounds. The frangible armor-piercing discarding sabo rounds have a muzzle velocity greater than 1,400 ma second. The Jeopard has eight smoke dischargers installed on either side of the turret. Furthermore, Germany sent 49,000 shells for the Jeopard and three armored recovery vehicles, 